So many insane leaks just poured out in Fortnite from the next update 29.30 being officially confirmed to be happening next week on the staging servers now, all the way to the next season's Battle Pass skins and collaboration upcoming kinda confirmed based off the outcome in battle between the myths and mortals which is currently going down, and we not only have an early look at some of the Chapter 5 Season 3 Battle Pass skins as an early preview, but even intel on Fortnite OG 2024 and Chapter 6 that's literally just come out today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the Battle Pass or anything from the shop you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof of that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all of course Chapter 5 Season 2 was one of the most anticipated things that we wanted to be upcoming in Fortnite, being Greek mythology, hence the name Myths and Mortals now, with the mortals versus the mythical gods, that ultimately is going to be shaping the theme of next season, which we've got to mention in a second. Before we hop into that though, it's important to note we're already 50%, yes you heard that right, through Chapter 5 Season 2, meaning we've only got half of the season left since it started. Out of all 29 seasons of Fortnite, believe it or not, this is the 10th shortest season, lasting a total of 75 days since it initially did start. Tied in 9th place, both from Chapter 1, we have Season X and Season 4 with a total of 73 days both the durations. We then have a tie of three seasons being Chapter 4 Season 4, Chapter 1 Season 6 and Chapter 2 Season 3 all being a total of 71 days long. Another double tie, Chapter 1 Season 8 and Chapter 1 Season 2 both only being 70 days long. Chapter 1 Season 3 next being only 58 days long although this did feel like longer when it was active, you know the John Wick season or the original Reaper skin John Wick version. Chapter 1 Season 1 50 days and let's not of course forget Fortnite OG which we've got more to mention about later in this video about it coming back in 2024 and that kind of being confirmed now alongside chapter 6 starting after which was only 29 days long total. Fun fact that means the average Fortnite season is 82.3 days long so of course that means this season now is shorter than average but the next update as mentioned at the start of the video 29.30 is on the staging servers which happens to be the second to last update of this season with only 29.40 to go after that live before 30.00 the 30th season of Fortnite chapter 5 season 3. With the current version we're in 29.20 introducing the average avatar update with the avatar mini pass that we can now, you know, get, upgrade for 1000 V-Bucks to get the normal version of Ang, work your way up or buy the next upgradable version of Ang or the better version. And let's not of course forget the beloved Appa Glider which we can now literally ride down onto the island first, Sean Peely doing it in this loading screen. With the mythics now being available on the island also, all of the different bending abilities, we have air bending, earth bending, fire bending and also water bending. All of these and the free rewards and everything I've just mentioned is only available until May 3rd. As Fortnite have literally just announced yesterday what's upcoming then, which is to do with Star Wars literally starting the day before May the 4th, being Star Wars Day. As it's a play on words for those that don't know, May the 4th be with you, and obviously the saying in Star Wars being, May the Force be with you. Attached to that post I initially put on screen stating I've got a good feeling about this 5-3-2024 being the next event of course, now we know as Star Wars thanks to the actual video trailer attached to that tweet in itself, Fortnite Star Wars, and as you can see, it's going to be going across LEGO Festival, and Battle Royale. Sadly no mention of Rocket Racing, but I'm guessing that's because we've literally just got a brand new season. Sadly without Mateus being a free skin that will be coming to the item shop at some point, even though he was shown in the Rocket Racing Season 1 Neon Rush trailer. And speaking of these other modes that it actually is going to be affecting despite Rocket Racing, specifically Festival, as we're now kind of a good way into the actual Festival Pass, meaning Lady Gaga is going to be gone soon forever. As Sheena stated in his announcement post for 29.30, being on the staging servers release next week, it will introduce the next music artist to Fortnite. And the reason he attached Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift is because people are speculating these are the most likely. Personally, I'd like to see Juice WRLD, but let me know down below in the comments what artist you'd like to see and the skin of appear. Lego and Star Wars collaboration is very popular for those that don't know, just despite being in Fortnite, and for that reason, that's why we've got already a ton of revamped Star Wars skins with their Lego styles, with most likely more Star Wars skins getting leaked with their Lego forms upcoming instantly in the 29.30 update. This, of course, covers the Lego aspect of the most that was shown in this trailer, obviously announced for May the 3rd, anyways, 2024, but has four actual festival before Fortnite Festival's next season that starts with a new artist. Apparently, Star Wars jam tracks and instruments will arrive in Fortnite Festival on May 3rd, and as you can imagine, a no-brainer that people speculate will be upcoming by even me just showing this clip is the iconic Cantina jingle. Speaking of those skins, apparently one that LEGO have hinted toward, according to Sheena, is Chewbacca that could be added as a part of the new Star Wars event. And with that said, given that we already know about the 
new Wookiee Bowcaster weapon, Chewbacca is most likely the choice for a new skin, one of them anyways, upcoming, considering we don't have him in Fortnite yet for some reason. You can already bet for this event, lightsabers are going to be returning, despite the new Star Wars skins, whether Jedi's or Siths, or other characters that we just see from the franchise upcoming. It's a no-brainer for these to return in a Star Wars event, but hopefully with that said, considering we're going right out of the Avatar event, which actually has vaulted the current mythic or Greek-themed weapons, the Wings of Icarus, the Thunderbolt of Zeus, and the Chain of Hades, they actually return upon this event starting, considering after all, you know, the theme of the season is Greek mythology, and there is an underlying story that not many people are talking about, which we're about to break down about how we're going to be getting into the theme of next season and what that's going to be. Although this is probably one of the first season 3 videos you've seen on YouTube regarding, well, the next season, it seems Fortnite are already well on their way with it, considering they're playtesting it now, as confirmed April 15th by the test servers from Sheena right here, Fortnite has started to playtest Chapter 5 Season 3, which is version 30.00, once again the 30th season of Fortnite, and despite us already knowing based off the theme or slogan of this season, Myths and Mortals, which should be Myths versus Mortals, as portrayed in the trailer, that Zeus basically wants to eradicate all the mortals off of the Battle Royale universe or island, based off the destruction that can occur from the powers that be at the moment, with characters like Zeus now in Fortnite, people speculate it's going to be a post-apocalyptic season for Chapter 5 Season 3, or just an apocalypse in general. Echo had a very good breakdown in his theory right here, Season 3 Theory, Apocalypse might be Season 3's theme, according to Fire Monkey the River Styx, you know, this thing that's like expanding over the island will go into other rivers this season, which I think we've already seen expand from the yacht being removed, and also the Oracle speaks of the dark skies and choking dust in the future, which seems pretty apocalyptic to me, obviously being the story quest, the Oracle this season. Right now, as for where we are with the Oracle, Peely is the forefront of it again on the island, despite going missing last season, you know, Jones's best bud that was then rescued, even though Valeri got what she wanted in the aspect of Pandora's box being found and opened. Thankfully, Peely has returned Turned, considering the Oracle pointed out something in the recent recordings, or like voice lines anyways for completing the quests, you should know that banana seems to be a linchpin holding together all of reality. Do with that information what you may. Again, right now he's simply an NPC on the island, literally by a tent, so we need to protect this six foot banana at all costs. Fingers crossed he doesn't get vaulted as an NPC, making us thinking he's been kidnapped again by the society. Furthermore, proof to back up this apocalyptic theme we're going to be going into with Chapter 5 Season 3. For those that don't know, no, Epic Games reveal like concept art of future seasons or upcoming things they're working on, and this got actually revealed a while ago, which definitely fits that kind of apocalyptic, complete wasteland kind of vibe or theme. What's even more interesting portraying this despite the nuke symbol right here is the fact overall it seems to be an airport, which could mean we're getting an airport POI newly introduced in Chapter 5 Season 3. Right now this is speculation that seems to connect together, however don't forget we are seeing a summer event, and summer event seasons are usually worrying considering Epic Games like last year dropped an event on us which only changed the map in this area of Fortnite Chapter 4 and gave us some free rewards to earn and then dip for two whole weeks without updating the game at all. And with that said, with this rolling over the summer it makes us question how will this apocalyptic or kind of like radioactive wasteland fit in with a summer kind of theme season or event that's definitely going to be occurring? Well, there are a lot of Fortnite survey skins that are actually like mutations of each other right now, for instance these two on screen. So for instance skins like this that are two styles of the same character could definitely be upcoming to obviously fit toward that radioactive wasteland apocalyptic vibe in season 3 out of the 8 battle pass skins we always see each season. With the apocalyptic theme in mind, many people think with the recent release of Fallout as a show on Amazon Prime that obviously this will be integrated into the battle pass somehow, one of the characters. Even more interesting though that could also be upcoming instead of just one as we've seen two collaborations in a battle pass in the past. As you can see from Sam Leaks right here, he states with season 3 speculated to be apocalyptic themed, a Mad Max collaboration would be perfect given the film releases the same day Season 3 launches. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. Despite the second to last update of Chapter 5 Season 2, 29.30 being on the staging servers right now, and with them already testing Chapter 5 Season 3, Epic Games are internally testing, getting ahead already, version 32 and 33. A reliable insider, yeah. Not Jules Dev, posted about version 33 being like the highest one that we currently know is being tested. It has a very high chance of being Chapter 6 Season 1. They usually add the next chapter around around this time to their internal testing servers and 33.00 was added super recently. Now the reason I'm laughing there is because it states chapter 6 season 1 which seems weird to say already but then hashtag Kanye West and the reason he put that is just to simply throw people off he stated in the follow up comments. With this meaning 31.00 is most likely the final full season of this chapter which is chapter 5 season 4 of course after chapter 5 season 
Valkyrie that, yeah, is still quite a way away yet. Aiko posted about the next version, which apparently is kind of confirmed to be Fortnite OG, being version 32.00. I wouldn't say this is confirmed, but most likely to happen. If Epic Games aren't making this a permanent mode just yet that rotates, instead giving us like a taste of nostalgia to bring players back at a certain time of year before the new chapter, which is definitely a good marketing move. Instead of, for example, releasing Fortnite OG between Chapter 5 Season 3 and Chapter 5 Season 4, it would nicely slot on the end of Chapter 5 Season 4, go to OG and then Chapter 6 Season 1 in December to fit the annual Chapters trait that we've seen over the past few years. As Peely has been such a forefront of Chapter 5, however, considering Fortnite loved their buff skins, hence Poseidon that we've literally got this season being a ripped version of the normal Ripley character from Chapter 2 Season 1, it's possible now more than ever we finally see the buff version of Peely included throughout the Chapter 5 Season 3 Battle Pass as everybody loves Peely and this would be a great selling point. Let me know down below in the comments if you buy the Battle Pass for literally just this skin. Psst, don't forget to enter code FM1 now and before that time comes around to do so however with me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug going out of our way doing it like no other create with cardboard cutouts and stuff. Speaking of entering that code in the item shop, the item shop overall according to Hypex will receive a new billboard feature next update 29.30. Right now it's being tested for the Star Wars collab dropping May 3rd but they might use it before that. The Star Wars billboard will say Rebel Leia Organa Outfit Fortnite Style with a view offer button. Drop a like if you're hyped for everything upcoming in this second half of Chapter 5 Season 2. Subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future leaks or news regarding it. Again, right now, do not forget to enter code FM1 before leaving this video or the next time you log on to Fortnite either works. In terms of other videos though, click either of these two YouTubes recommended you on screen right now. Whilst you're waiting for that very next upload, I do indeed publish on the channel.